Okay, welcome to another backgammon board review. This time we're going to cover the FTH tournament size board from, well, uh, it's made by FTH, sold, I bought it off of uh, Gammon Stuff, GammonStuff.com. Price is currently $7.99, so their prices have been relative, relatively stable for the last year. Um, we have a field color of black. Field is made out of a wool texture, uh, very quiet, uh, similar um, to the Gammoner board, although the Gammoner board does run about I believe three to four hundred dollars more. Uh, I'm not sure why. Um, I haven't seen too many Gammoner board reviews on YouTube, so. But I'm perfectly happy with this board. This is my number two board. Uh, one of the reasons I like it very much is because it's very lightweight, about 12 pounds compared to 18, 19 pounds for the. Uh, FM gammon board, or sorry, the FM boards. Uh, FTH boards are made by, uh, forget his name, sorry about that, but he's from Germany, so it's German made. And it comes with the serial number. This one happens to be number 065. Okay. What the board comes with, obviously your checkers. Uh, now you don't have your choice of color with FTH, but I have no complaints about the uh, aesthetics, feel, size of their checkers. They're, uh, you know, very well made. They're a little thinner compared to the well, try. Well, just take my word for it. They're a little thinner than the Gammon board, or sorry, the uh, FM Gammon checkers and Chris Lloyd and Art Gammon checkers. Uh, but there are one. They are 1.75 inches in circumference. Uh, the board comes obviously with a doubling cube, nice precise doubling cube. Uh, lightweight a um, little smaller than the FM and obviously uh, um, the Whitecliffe Brothers doubling cube smaller than that but you know there's not really an issue with the doubling cube comes with uh, four Chouette doubling cubes as well um, no other board comes with these cubes uh, which I thought is a nice touch, um, you know, compared to the uh, one you get with the board. Uh, you get your precision dice, of course, and they also sent these oversized numbered dice, which I haven't used. I find them to be a little too big, and they're not uh, precision dice so I don't know why you know I've never seen anyone play with these before so that's that uh, comes also with a dice bag nice leatherette type of a dice bag doesn't come with a scoreboard unfortunately um, dice cups Uh, these dice cups are oval shape. I prefer the, you know, for the rounded ones. Uh, these are okay. The only issue I have is if you're using the three eighths of an inch size dice, then sometimes because these dice cups have a thicker lip than most, uh, sometimes when you're rolling, only one of the dice will come out. Um, so you have to re-roll. So other than that, I mean, there's really not an issue with these dice cups. I do prefer uh, using, I use other dice cups with those uh, when I'm using this board. Um, 
uh, it's a nice quiet board as opposed to the uh, you know the wooden boards. I really have. I mean, it's a little pleasing to the sound with the wood, but you know I have no complaints with a nice quiet board as well. Um, like I've said, this is an ideal tournament board because it's very light. Um, it also comes well. A couple years ago, they had a deal where if you would mention the voice of Backgammon with your order, you would get a free uh, storage case with a strap for free. But that is no longer the case, so I had to fork over $100 plus shipping, total of $113 for this uh, carrying bag, which is well worth it. I mean, it's pretty sturdy. Uh, strap is nice and comfortable it's bolstered up on the side in the corner to protect your board um and all this pocket here it's not very useful because when you have the board inside you know you don't have a lot of it doesn't open that you know that much so maybe it's just like a sport card or something um let's go ahead and shake a few dice to get a feel of what the board's gonna sound like as you play. Okay, that was two. Four deuce for white. Okay, so black. One. Let's see. Uh, let's go, go here. Ooh, sixes. Uh, hmm. Definitely gonna hit. Last roll. Six Okay, thanks for watching. Like I said, $7.99 from Gammon Stuff. Where did I say this stuff? GammonStuff.com. Uh, shipping, I think the dealer's from New York. It takes about four days to get here. Um, very nice quality board, board from Germany. Um, definitely, if I had to pick one, I have six boards. I have a Chris Lloyd, two FM Gammon boards, one Art Gammon, one White Cliff, and this FTH. And if I were given a choice to just keep one, I would have to choose this FTH board because it's just a great all around, light, aesthetically pleasing, gorgeous colors, wool surface, quiet board. All right, thank you.